from here. Al Chris Hawk is all kinds of fired up. Now, if Chris just sat down here, he could get that knockout. The man is hurt. The man is right. There you go. The man is waiting there. Pick your shot. Pick your shot and take him out. There you go. There you got, got a big right hand. Pick your shot. Take your man out. He's back trying to come back with those leg kicks. Hawk is there they are. his own. All right. He's still shaking, but guys. I believe he's still shaking. Guys, and a knockout here would swing the pendulum the other way and put L.A. in the lead. I'm looking at Dale Cook. He is pacing down like a man possessed. He doesn't want to see that 11-point lead dwindle. Nice kick there, though, by back answering That's back. That's right. That's oh, sweet. Chris Holt trying to load that right hand. He's got a lot of power, Chris Holt. He's just really... Oh, there Hawk you go. Big Hawk chop there again. the right hand. Hawk could get the knockout. Hawk could get the knockout here. We're only halfway through this match. Hawk looking still very, very strong. Look at the upper body, though, on Hawk. I mean, if it's like a knock you out, he could. No! Here you go. Big clubbing overhand. Well, Back turn right hand up. Right on the butt. There you go. One of the butt can do the job for him here. Chris Hawk, an absolute bruiser, but Alex Beck staying in there, keeping his composure thus far. Yeah, Alex Beck needs to come back, though. He's got to start coming back against Chris Hawk. Hawk just having his way at the moment. Again, a lot of it's going to depend on the endurance of Hawk. Can he keep his pressure up? And a passivity penalty awarded to Hawk. There it is. Oh, another this kick is going here. Overhead right, right after oh, overhead. Oh, oh, Alex Beck coming back with a nice right yeah, leg on, kick. It's on buckle. You buckle Hawk with that kick and a good front row kick to his stomach. Yeah, going to attempt a back kick. There was a right hand from Beck then, too. Caught Hawk. I tell you what, this Beck kid is tough. This, right. Look at that. You see those big overhead. 30 right seconds out. left in this match. Look at that, Van Heusen on the side, he is screaming, he so wants Chris Hawk to achieve this knockout and that valuable 15 points for the LA Stars. I don't think he's going to get at this stage, Alec Bex look, doesn't look like he's going anywhere, Petey. He's not going anywhere. 15 Look seconds to go here, guys, who can pull something out? I think Bex throw caution to the winner, go for that, there you go, go for that knockout. A sustained attack and a man that had to yeah. maybe fall. Beck just knows you got to just keep those hands up. Beck coming back with a right hand kick. There you go. Oh, the man. LA Stars once again didn't get that knockout they so desperately needed. Oh, baby. I mean, no doubt in my book that uh, Hawk got this fight, but he did not get the knockout that LA so desperately needs to, to, to stay in this fight. And how much heart did Alex Beck show? Yeah, Beck from the Oklahoma Destroyers. He's got a, a chin of steel. I mean, Hawk was teeing off for Look much of the round. Right hand of the body, big overhand right, and a left from Hawk. Oh, there oh. is that big right round kick to the head, taking Beck down on the back. Oh! oh at the same time as Beck threw that lower right leg kick. Swept Hawk right off his feet, but still, actually, it took a lot of steam off the kick, really. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Oh, he's got a good head kick there, that uh, Chris Hawk. There he is again with a big chopping overhand right hand. Here it is again, and what another can be said. one. Yeah, but Beck stayed competitive. He hit some shots of his own. Now we go up to the scorecard, 15 to seven with the penalty point. A 16 to seven victory by Chris Hawk. Great effort, picks up his first win in the WCL, and his Los Angeles Stars need it. It only three points now separate the two teams. Oklahoma Destroyers up by a very slim margin, 115 to 112. Chris Hawk picks one heck of a time to pick up his first WCL win. Let's hear more from him in the locker room. Raymond Daniels came up to me before the fight and he said, just give me clubs and I'm gonna take care of the rest. He said, I'm gonna win. He said, just give me the, just give me the game. And I'll put this guy away like I've never put before. So we did it. I've lost my last couple fights in a row. Sick of losing. Uh, Coach Deucer, Van Deucer, he talked me into it. He just talked me into winning, basically. And I want to thank my coach, Jeff Mullins. And I want to thank Team Mid-South for helping me get ready. Coming up next, Douglas Edwards takes on Travis McRoberts. You heard Chris Hawk said he's sick of losing. He won tonight. Los Angeles has never lost, but they're in jeopardy here. It's still anybody's ball game with a shot at the championship up for grabs.
There are only two fights to go in the Western Conference Finals as we're going to determine who will represent the Western Conference to take on the Eastern Conference champion New York Clash in the finals as Douglas Edwards takes on Travis McRoberts. With Raymond Daniels up next, the LA Stars just looking to keep it close. Guys, a lot of drama, a lot of suspense here. Only three points between these two teams, two of the top dogs in all the WCL going at it. The road to the championship hotly contested here. Since halftime, remember LA was 56, Oklahoma 39. My how the tide can change. Both teams desperate for a knockout in the second last match of the night here. <laughs> Look at the judges, both judges in this pacing. You can imagine how they feel. So we've got Douglas Whirlwind <laughs> Edwards taking on Travis Rumble Roberts. Now, guys, here's where your bench becomes so important. Who can come off the bench and be effective here? Look at Douglas Edwards. He looks like a sprinter right now. He is just going after Travis Roberts. Travis Roberts, big left-right-hand combination there, scoring well though on Douglas Edwards. Oh, <laughs> both fighters again. Oh, that was a beautiful right knee there for a knee to the face. Caught Travis Roberts right on the head. Oh, nice, sweet Superman. <laughs> Superman, a punch from Roberts. He says, don't knee me in the head, I'm going to punch you. Well, that's one way to get inside on the taller Edwards, just come flying at him. Well, this Travis Roberts had some power, though, Petey. I mean, he's winging those shots. He's got the fight. He's saying, Edwards, every time you come in, I'm going to make you pay for it. There you go with Edwards with the left hand over with the right leg kick. Look at the uppercut on Roberts though. I mean, he's landing, and he's landing too. I gotta tell you what, Edwards is taking a bit of a punch. Because Roberts is landing that, look, landing those big old punches. Hit him another left hook just now. There he goes again. Trying to use that Muay Thai background was Edwards grabbing the clinch and going for the knee. Didn't really score with it. Boy, oh, caught him with that one though. Roberts is landing, guys. He's landing here. Oh, there you straight go. Nice left straight hand. hand. Whoa, again, Roberts. Roberts. Your left hand. Both you guys got to fight. One guy's going on to disqualify. There you go, referee telling him, got to fight now. Got to mix it up. Remember, the WCL is about throwing leather non-stop. Oh, oh, big right big uppercut right up from guy. Travis Roberts. Him filling with your right one, knee. Uh, Douglas Eggers even warned for clinching, hanging on there, pulling the head of Travis Roberts down and holding on. <laughs> Travis Roberts, so compact and powerful and explosive here, guys. He, he, look at the heart of this guy. He's giving it his all. I mean, his opponent must have almost by a foot in height, and he's right in his face. Travis Roberts getting point against him for holding. We've got 50 seconds left in this match. Oh, another ringing right, a right knee there from Roberts. Edwards trying to just assert himself back on Roberts. He says, I'll dump you on the mat. Roberts is <laughs> pulling the plug. And that's what exactly he needs to do here. Again, a real sense of urgency for both athletes as only three points separate these two fantastic teams in the conference finals. 25 is the next second left in this match. Both of them just throwing hell for leather. Left knee there from Travis Roberts, missing the mark. Both fighters feeling tired at this stage, but who wouldn't be? Now a penalty point there awarded to Roberts. Oh, oh right sweet, hand there from right Travis hand. Roberts. Guys, I'll tell you what. Outside of this fight, I thought that this looked like a, 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 a mismatch. And now I'm telling you what, that little man there, Travis Roberts, he really picked it up, and he represented for L.A. Hey, how interesting is the point spread going to be now at the end of this match? Very, very interesting. Wouldn't want to be the judges in this one. How do you guys see it scored? You know what? It could go either way. I saw Travis Roberts going some really nice shots. I wouldn't be surprised if that puts him slightly ahead. You know what? Seriously, on aggression alone, I, I would give this fight to uh, to Travis Roberts. Yeah, Travis Roberts did very well. This this, this kid did. And he, he put some juice into those punches. Well, let's take a look at exactly what Roberts and Edwards did do in this very competitive round. It was that knee from uh, Edwards oh, really hit the mark But he there. caught a beautiful right hand right, uh, right Roberts said, let me hang on to you for a minute, Ian. There was that left knee then from Edwards. Beautiful shot just caught Travis Roberts. 
Guys, regardless, you got to think that this one's going to be close. Oh, there was a big right hand uppercut. Now, absolutely, he's going to get down to this final match. And guess who is waiting in the in the wings for Los Angeles? One Raymond, the real deal, Daniels. So Colin Van Duzel has got to be happy about that. What do we have? Travis McRoberts gets the win, 15 to 12, and we are even, Steven, with one fight to go. This thing is all tied up. It doesn't get any better than this. This is on fire. <laughs> and I mean, it's interesting to point out Oklahoma is going with alternatives in all six second half fights. And if Oklahoma ends up losing this thing, that strategy by Dale Cook certainly going to be called into question. They led by as much as 32 points. And now Raymond Daniels waits in the wings looking to clutch it for Los Angeles. He's been money in the bank and he looks to make a deposit for his team into the finals. Welcome back to the Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio, Texas, where it has all come down to this. One fight to go to determine who is going to get a shot at the championship. Scott Clark out of Canada brought in to specifically fight Daniels. He'll get his chance, but will he pull off the ultimate upset or will Daniels flatten the Canuck like a maple leaf? One fight to go, winner take all, and how much pressure is on the shoulders of this man, alternate fighter, Scott Clark. He's 1-0 in the WCO, and this is clearly the biggest fight of his WCL career. And interesting to note uh, he, uh, that he was brought to LA particularly to face Raymond Daniels. I mean, Dale Cook would have so much riding here on Scott Clark. Raymond Daniels coming in. I mean, oh, wait, you couldn't dream for a better, better final matchup here than this. I mean, this is the fight that decides it. Oklahoma, do they pave the way to go back to Oklahoma for the championship? Or is the LA Stars with Raymond Daniels going to upset all those plans that Dale Cook and the Destroyers have? I tell you what, fellas, what Daniels needs to do here now is compose himself. I know he uh, I must have been, it must have been made aware to him by, uh, uh, by the coach of the mistake he made by going a little too anxious the fight before. In this fight, this fight, the one for all the marbles, he has to compose himself, pace himself for him because he's up against a kid here who is very, very skilled. Daniels is undefeated and he needs only one more win to clinch a bid in the championship. Here we go! Oh, there was a big left hand from Daniels right on the chin of Clark. Daniels just going to town. Boy, I think Clark's like, hello, what did I just walk into? There's that spinning back kick there from Raymond Daniels. Clark trying to come in, missed that with a nice left hand, but missed the mark completely. There's Daniels with that straight right. Look at the way he covers the, the gap, Petey, with that right hand punch. There's a left right. And you got to think that Daniels relishes this opportunity to be hero in this second half comeback for Los oh. Angeles if it goes that way. Oh, definitely. I tell you what, Daniels, he has, he's found himself, guys. He's regained his composure. There you go. Look at that he's left hand body, right hand to the head. Scott Clark not just quite sure how to deal with Daniels at this stage. And Daniels has been here, fellas, many, many times before. Look at that, look at Colin Van Dusen. His eyes are like sources at the moment. He's screaming at Daniels. He is so an he desperately wants his knockout that Daniels is capable of. He's been an absolute nervous wreck all night long. And who could blame him with the way this match has gone? We're even, Steven. One fight to go, and here we are, gentlemen. Who can take it home? Who can win the conference finals? Look at that blitz yes. from Daniel Scott <laughs> Clark could do is put his hands up and say, make it stop. That's, I can tell you what, this kid, uh, Daniel's not, not now he's himself. You know what I'm saying? Now he's got his composure back. And like you say, he's fighting now for the life of the team. And he is the captain of this team. And he knows what he has to do. Penalty point for holding there, awarded to Daniels. Guys, fighters from both from both rosters absolutely on the edge of their seat on pins and needles here yeah. with so much on the line yeah no time to be passive here look oklahoma destroys i mean they, they were so within grasp of this here this is all up to scott clark but unfortunately he's got such a handful in the la's raymond daniels guess what dennis is not giving a chance oh there's that anything. jumping spinning back yeah. here he is being blitzed right here he's getting blitzed right now there you go Quick game in and out, you know what I'm saying? And and totally, totally all Daniels, you know what I'm saying? All Daniels right here. 
inside a minute to go. Can Scott Clark reach down deep and score the huge upset? Can he come up with something? Scott Clark has got to get so busy right now. Daniels has been all over him at this stage of the match. He's got to pull something out of the bag. In fact, Scott Clark's got to score a knockout at this point. To win this fight, you got it. Absolutely. To win this, Daniels is really just up the edge on the points here. He's scoring. He has really taken Scott Clark to school. Inside 30 seconds to go now, as you mentioned, Peter Daniels seems to have his groove back. He has his confidence. He's totally got his confidence back, totally got his groove back, and he has just saved his team, if you ask me. 15 seconds left, and it's all LA Stars now in this final match. Boy, I've got to tell you, that I'm really feeling for Dale Cook and the Destroyers. But what a phenomenal effort they put up tonight. It surely, it surely did, bro. But I tell you what, like I said, what's this kid fight? There you go. There it is. Finest composure. That's There's it. No stopping him. That's it. It's going to be the LA Stars. Yeah. Incredible. Colin Van Duzel can finally breathe a sigh of relief after an incredible night of action. What a what a what an effort from Raymond Daniels. I mean, it, this guy just he, he does everything that's expected of him. The kid knows how to win a fight, Richie. He knows how to win a fight. And, and like I said, but he comes in with such confidence, doesn't he? Yes. You know, it doesn't matter what you throw at him. Says, that's okay, because I know I can win. He know he can win. He knows how to adjust. And you can see there how devastated Patrick Smith was. Again, the Destroyers hey, Chris, came in Chris. with such a game plan. Chris. But now we look at the highlights of the match that decided it all. There's Daniels with that blitz. Oh, a big spinning heel could he miss. Nice tight spinning back kick. Oh, look at that axe kick. Beautiful axe kick. And, and there's it, the blitz, baby. There's, there's the, the blitz. blitz. You know, and that's from his point fighting background, but it works so well for him in the WCL arena. Totally does. Oh, there it is, nice and tight. You see that? That right spinning back kick just caught him right on the ribs there. Of course, Clark didn't show the damage, but we knew that was the damage was done there. Yeah, all Clark could do is put his hands up. There it is. The last thing the clock could do was that left knee, but it's just not enough. With the season on the line, the real deal gets it done. 16 to 9 victory in your overall score. 144 to 137. Los Angeles has a date with destiny. They'll take on the New York Clash to decide the league championship. What a phenomenal night. I mean, how many great matches have we seen tonight? Oh, guys, action-packed, this drama-packed. I mean, this had you in the edge of your seats, man, when LA come back. There you see Oklahoma walking off, and they're your victorious Los Angeles Stars getting the job done. LA with a huge comeback. The score of the second half was 88 to 51. They battled back. Remember, guys, they were down 20 at the half. Excellent second half for the Stars. Yeah, incredible, incredible second half for the Stars. I mean, you know, again, the Oklahoma destroys almost going back home to Oklahoma what for the that? finals, taken away from by the final match by the great Raymond Daniels. Halftime to get them motivated on the road to Tulsa. Second place is like kissing your sister. We're not going to have it. And there, this was every time there's one more team step, standing between us and the championships. Oklahoma is a tough team. There's no doubt about it. They've got some great fighters. They've got an excellent and outstanding world-class coach. I just can't say enough good things about them. The score speaks for itself. It wasn't a blowout, so you know that was some great matchups. And this is WCL, baby. Thank you. Absolutely. Coach, are you ready to take this thing home and make it happen for your L.A. Stars? There is just no other option for us at this point. We're this far. There's only this one last competition in June. We are going to make it happen, and I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. As are we, ladies and gentlemen, San Antonio. One more big round of applause for Coach Colin Van Dusen and his Los Angeles stars. The Western Conference Finals are now in the history books. What a roller coaster it was. But tonight, the Los Angeles Stars survived. Survived the early onslaught of the Oklahoma Destroyers. And again, it all got bound down to one person, Raymond Daniels, in the final match. He came through with flying colors. Besides Raymond Daniels carrying this thing in his back and pulling out for his team, Oklahoma's coaching 
and get strategy views and alternates for the first, for the whole second half really backfired on them and helped LA propel themselves to that championship. What an incredible night of action it was, living up to all of our expectations, coming down right to the wire, and now the stage is set. It'll be the Los Angeles Stars taking on the New York Clash. For everybody at the World Combat League, we'll see you. Tonight on the WCL, it's the battle for third place between Oklahoma and New Jersey. In the conference finals, Oklahoma blew a 32-point lead over the LA Stars. They have more than just pride to fight for tonight. New Jersey was schooled in a losing effort by big city neighbors, the New York Clash. They are done with the losing. Now, it's all about getting even. Welcome inside the Expo Square Pavilion in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where tonight the New Jersey Tigers and Oklahoma Destroyers battle for third place in the WCL. Hello everyone, Todd Kennelly here with you once again, as always joined by Richard Norton, Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham. And tonight, gentlemen, although the championship is not on the line for these two teams, some big time bragging rights and momentum going into next season are, and what our fans are gonna get are some huge dream fights featuring some of the WCL's most explosive athletes. Absolutely, Todd, and a dream fight for me is Jerry Seitz and Muna Holland. Jerry Seitz coming off a one-point loss to Alicia Ashley. She's got a grudge to bear coming into this, but you know what? If anyone can bang with Jerry Seitz, it's Muna Holland, and as always, the women bring everything to the line in WCL. I'm looking forward to that match. Yeah, the ladies have a chance to take center stage there, and everybody, Pete, buzzing about the light heavyweights tonight. The light heavyweights tonight, Uriah Hall, Jesse Lawrence, these two kids are the bad boys of the WCL and expect a lot of action from these two and uh, I see knockout from one of these kids going in there. Both tough guys, lots of skill, lots of power, lots of aggression and it's going to be great. And by the way Todd, you talk about pride, what about Dale Apollo Cook coming into this? 20 points off at halftime getting into this match. He was nearly in his home ground of Oklahoma coming for the championship. They're now vying for third place. There's pride on the line for Oklahoma and Dale Cook. My heart's out to him and the boys for tonight's match. Certainly a lot of pride on the line in this battle for third place here in the Expo Square Pavilion. And here you see the New Jersey Tigers. Expect them to get a reception as cold as the other side of the pillow. They take on the hometown Oklahoma Destroyers. Tiger Schulman and his New Jersey Tigers. And here comes Colt Schulman and his New Jersey Tigers, a very tight group. They train together at Schulman's gym in New Jersey. And this team has knockout ability and devastating punching power in the form of John James and Uriah Hall. And also look out for Muna Holland. And here's the Oklahoma Destroyers. Get ready for the roof to blow off this place. But gentlemen, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. How close were they to being in this building to battle for the championship? Oh, look, unbelievable, Todd. As I said, all I remember is Dale Cook's face when he saw this slip away from him. 20 points in front at halftime. I mean, they've got everything on the line. This is a pride match for Dale and the Oklahoma Destroyers in their hometown. Sure is, Richard. A lot of pride on the line and a lot of momentum heading into next season. That being said, Let's break down the rules for combat in this battle for third place. Six fighters per team, each competes in a three minute round in the first and second half. All punching and kicking skills are allowed, knees only above the waist, and there you see the penalties, have to avoid them. Three judges score the fight based on the five point must system. Knockouts are pivotal, and fighters points are added to the overall team score. And the battle for third place begins with what promises to be a dynamic fight between Shannon Maceo and this man, Thomas Longacre. Thunder Kick, a real favorite here in Oklahoma, and he looks to whip this crowd into a frenzy. Our opening match is coming up next.
Welcome back to the Expo Square Pavilion in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where it is time for some action in the battle for third place in the World Combat League. And what a fight we kick things off with. Shannon Maceo, a practitioner of Muay Thai, taking on the dynamic Thomas Thunderkick Longacre. Look for some fireworks in this one. These two teams have a chance to cap off a successful season and build some great momentum heading into next year. Absolutely, and it, and it is about next year. You know, this is the final for them as far as they're standing. I mean, the, the momentum to go into this off period, to get training, to sort of make amends, to, to work out strategies and come back strong. A win to start off the next season like this at the end of this season would be the greatest thing for the Oklahoma Destroyers. And you want to talk about a way to fire up this home crowd right off the bat. How about this man coming to the combat zone, the always explosive thunder kick, Thomas Longacre. Absolutely, this guy can fire. He loves it. I mean, talk about enthusiasm in spirit. I mean, look at how, look at this kid, you know, at the beginning of this. But I tell you what, if anyone can bring it back, it's Shannon Maceo. This guy is fantastic. This is a great matchup. Yeah, Peter, two very aggressive fires. Should be, fighters. Should be a lot of fireworks in this one. A lot of fireworks here and knockout punching power for both of these guys in that weight division, 47. <laughs> look at these guys bang right off that Whoa! Oh! What am I talking oh, about? Knockout Shannon, power. Shannon Messiah caught Thomas Longacre and dropped him to his knees. Longacre is saying, oh, that's okay. If that's all you got, bring it on. And that was a good shot though, Todd. And how did that silence this crowd momentarily? Rocking Longacre, can he rebound? Well, again, Longacre's got a heart of a lion. You know, he will be looking at him trying to establish his dominance again in here, trying to make up for that psychologically, uh, the, the value of that knockdown. Precisely, Rich. And again, remember, both these kids have dynamite in both hands. So at any any given time, uh, Longhead can return the favor. No, absolutely. Maceo Longhead, they're both capable of knocking each other out. And that's the big thing. Look at that nice inside leg kick from Maceo, followed with a knee. Longhead going back at his own counters. They're going, oh! Exactly, yeah. exactly, gentlemen. Exactly, there you go. The 40, 40, there you go. Still in there. Oh, another right hand from Maceo under the jaw of Longacre. What an exchange, full throttle energy personified. This is what the World Combat League's all about. What a phenomenal starting match. Like I said, guys, both these kids back got a match in both hands. And any given time, you know what I'm saying? Somebody stop somebody here. Oh, and Longacre looks a little stunned there, Peter. He's copped a few. Oh, he just missed a rising knee then from Maceo. Counters with his own midsection knee against the stomach of Maceo. Now, Maceo himself is a little shaken. Oh, yeah. there's a left and a right from uh, Thomas Longacre. Oh, there's another big right hand. Look, Look at, at the Coach Dale Cook in the background as now Longacre is pouring it on back and forth. The pendulum continues to swing back and forth in this one. But look at Maceo come back from that. Look at the heart of these fighters. Again, this is the epitome of the WCL. Fighters just putting everything on the line. And guys, we wondered how, how much pride would be on the line fighting for third place. I guess these guys are proving uh, just how much these teams want this Absolutely. Oh. You know, every time they get in the ring, it's a zone for the last time. And gentlemen, we saw a beautiful knee just now by Maceo, but you just missed it. And that's two beautiful kicks to the head by Longacre. This entire fight has been a highlight reel. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh. there's another left knee from Maceo right up to the draw of Longacre. I love this combination of Maceo put his hands together, grab the head and got that knee in there real quick. Smooth. Maceo's got to keep those hands up, though. Longacre just loves those right-left combinations to the head. He's got to be careful. And guys, remember the knockdown early on, so that really favors Maceo here. Absolutely. Longacre's got to really score some dominance in the final seconds of this match. Oh, there's a left knee to this midsection of Longacre from Maceo. And gentlemen, I thought he hurt. I thought he got hurt. Oh, great. No. I thought he got hurt and a little bit of that knee to the body. Oh, yeah. That'll suck the wind out of you. Both of these fighters left absolutely everything inside the combat zone. Unbelievable. Fantastic match. Now, guys, here's the deal. I think a very close match to call because when Longacre got his shot back in on Maceo, he did hurt him, did knock him down. But again, in my book, good for attending. All right, guys, let's go to the highlights. You might as well show the whole fight. The entire fight was filled with highlights. Take us through it. Look at those body shots from Maceo. There's an overhand ride to drop Longacre to his knees. Longacre coming back with his own flurry. 
Oh, mean? there's that right hand from Longacre. Another right hand. Oh, followed with a left uppercut from Longacre. Boy, he scored well then, Petey, in that yeah. little exchange. And, the, and though um, uh, Mysterio's still on his feet, I would still give Longacre a 10-8 advantage there as well. Oh, there's that left knee from uh, the body. That's the one we really saw hurt Longacre with that one. Let's head up for the judge's decision, and there you have it, Shannon Maceo, 15 to 11. What a war of attrition, and I, you got that? It's got to be an upset here in our first bout. No doubt about it. I mean, if, if, if anyone for the Oklahoma destroyers could have given them some momentum, it's Longacre. That was a fantastic win for the New York Tigers. You know what? I knew we're very, very underdogs right now. I know we're, you know, at the bottom of the totem pole. We got to work our way up, so I knew how to get out there and really put forth 150% in order to do something. And that's what I did, it paid off. Shannon Maceo took Thomas Longacre to a trip to Upset City, dishing out a rare loss. Coming up next, it's the heavyweights. Big John James takes on Patrick Smith in a battle of veterans. The New Jersey Tigers are up by four. The battle for third place continues right after this. And we're back in Tulsa, Oklahoma with more of the battle for third place as the New Jersey Tigers out to an early lead. But coming up, a battle of heavyweight veterans and both guys have lethal power. John James loves to headhunt and go upstairs with overhand rights and head kicks. Patrick Smith loves to attack the leg with lethal leg kicks. We'll see who wins out. We're coming up to the next fight and it is going to be the big boys, two wily veterans Two old dogs are going to be there trying to protect their turf. Guys, in this one, I'm like in, uh, I'm like in James in this one. Now, of course, you know what? But Pat Smith brings to the table a lot of this power. Opponent. But James here is a very, very uh, deceivingly looking, uh, looking man. Yeah, but as we said, Petey Patrick Smith, look at the experience of this guy as a fighter. Whether you're talking about kickboxing or MMA, I mean, this guy really has been in some wars. So this is going to be another exciting matchup for match number two. Can't wait for this. Look at Patrick Smith. <laughs> the engines alone would scare them. Well, can't say that, but anyway. Looks like Patrick <laughs> Smith still has some spring in those veteran legs. Oh, of no doubt about that, Todd. Patrick Smith is a fighter. And guys, as the big boys get ready to go at it, really an intriguing matchup because John James, the most experienced WCL fighter on his team, but again, you touched on it, Patrick Smith, so much overall experience. And I was just going to say, the one thing Smith has to watch out for is those legs of James. Look at that, but again, oh, he got guy. caught with the left hand there. Well, that's it, gentlemen, Smith down. even looking fun in the game here. This is John James. Guys, last time we saw John James in the ring, Patrick Berry was able to chop him down. Can Smith do much the same? Oh, no, I think he can. Look at, the, look at him take the fight to James. See, once again, Patrick Smith's smile. He knows that John James has got those legs. He can bring them up to the head at, at a whim. He's just got to keep it tight and use the power of his arms. He's got powerful leg kicks, powerful body kicks. Oh, he caught him again there. James covering up. Every time these big men connect, you can just hear those shots echoing off Beautiful the Beautiful combination. Beautiful combination, mate. Yeah, that's, that's the John James combo there. You know, just to throw that, that left-right combination followed with a round kick to the head. Once again, it gets down to the fitness, doesn't it, Petey? I mean, it's a, like a sprint. These guys, to keep that sort of pressure up, it's tough to do. And that'll often you know, be the result of these sorts of matches. Who can keep it up the longest? Rule the slip there, guys, is these two big guys. I would think it would be hard for heavyweights to adapt to this all-out style. Oh, there's no doubt about it. Carrying that extra weight and everything like that, it's a tough call. Especially with kicks, it uses such a large muscle group. You know, it sucks the oxygen out of you. Well, I tell you what, at this point in the game, so it's not up a pretty even fight. Patrick really seems to be bringing it on right now. No doubt about it. Patrick, look at him. He's just a walk-up fighter. And again, John James does need a little bit of distance for his favorite combo, especially that kick to the head. Get that kick off. He needs that distance. And Pat's got a good strategy to stay in his face and still top of him. Look at that. Beautiful body work. Nice. Beautiful body work. And he's able to block the kick to the head. So it looks like Patrick Smith has done his homework. Oh, yeah, John James, his hands down a little low. Not a good thing with Patrick Smith. He has that overhand right that'll drop an elephant. There he goes, another right-left combination to the body of James. John James in trouble. Oh, and guys, after our first fight, how physical have these battles been so far? Oh, this is worth the price of admission already. One and a half fights into it tonight. Fantastic. Again, remember, fellas, tonight is championship night. Look at that. Look at that. Tim shaking his... Oh, whoa. Oh, look at that. 
Yes, he is. Is it fair? Have no one given up? Or, 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 or is that Thomas Manny can't do anything? Oh, look at that. He's in trouble. He's a sitting dunk here. The Panthers. Oh, that was a beautiful dunk. left front kick from Patrick Smith to the stomach of John Jane. John Jane just hands low. He's, he's out of dirt with juice there, Petey. And Pat, yeah, Pat's just having a very easy time of it right now. I think, uh, I think John Jane is totally out of it, and Pat's just, uh, you know, just picking away at him right here. John Jane, he, he's, he's spent. He is spent. It's all he can do to keep his hands up now. Patrick Smith keeps up. Yes. Wow, what a great match. Here's the Oklahoma. Dale Cook's going to be very happy with Patrick Smith and his result. Yes. The Destroyers really needed Patrick Smith to rebound after that uh, your surprising loss by Longenacre in the first fight. Let's take a look at the highlights. Two big men standing and banging. John James starting off well with that right round kick to the body of Smith. Put up a heck of a fight, John James. Look at that, a trapping knight, not holding a leg too long and, look, and getting his shots off. But somewhere along this fight, Patrick Smith came back, kept his hands high from those high kicks, good defense, and instead of working the body, which opened up the head, and, and landed those big punches. Yeah, but John James just ran out of steam. Look at him. He dropped those hands there, and Patrick Smith just capitalized it. Boy, doesn't Patrick Smith use that front kick well. He front was kick. just folding John James with that front kick. You got Richie, the front kick well to the body and those body punches. Let's take a look at how the judges are going to score this thing. Decision. We have it. Seven points to James. Your winner with 17 points, Oklahoma Zone, Patrick Smith. And there you have it, Patrick Smith rebound. So it's been seesaw action inside the combat zone and on the scoreboard. John James is tough. He looks, he doesn't look like he is. He knows how to get in and out and run and himself, but all of our team, we're just like a family. Everybody treats everybody the same. We expect each other to carry each other. Nobody puts no one down. Patrick Smith with a big victory there. And next, Raji Bryson Barrett for the Tigers takes on the knockout artist, David Taylor in this seesaw back and forth battle for third place in the World Combat League. And it's gonna be Raji Bryson Barrett for the Tigers taking on the knockout artist, David Taylor. Both men aggressive Muay Thai fighters, but David Taylor wields devastating knockout power. And welcome to the combat zone. Fighting for the New Jersey Tigers, he is Raji Bryson Barrett. Raji Bryson Barrett gonna try and swing the pendulum of momentum back to the Tigers and reclaim the lead. So the it's Oklahoma Destroyers now up by six points, Oklahoma and here we see Roger Bryson Barrett in the combat zone. David Taylor! Unenviable task for Bryson Barrett because he has to take on the knockout artist, David Taylor. Yeah, David Taylor with five wins in the WCL, both losses incidentally to Borelli of LA. But hey, hey, no shame there. <laughs> If anyone could do it though, fellas, it would be Bryson Barrett. Again, look at his boxing experience. He's got great hands. So he's going to have a real good boxing chance here against the knockout puncher. Bit of a lack of action, Todd, in this round. <laughs> look at these guys. It has been hard to keep up with things so far. It has been unbelievable action here in the battle for third place. David Taylor, nice leg kicks there. Nice leg kicks. Right, not big enough, Rich. He's looking, he's looking for that big punch. He's looking for that knockout. And he needs to follow it up. That knockout, right? He's looking for that knockout, and he's not throwing too many. Right now, Bryson Barrett is not hustling him. Check it out. Look at that. Working hands, knees, legs. Right, all over yeah, the place. That's the trick, isn't it? To go high, to go low, to use your knees, to use your legs, use all the tools at your disposal. David Taylor trying to leg kick, but he's not following up with the hands. He needs to go low and come high. As he's looking for that knockout, which he's looking for about 15 points. Last time we saw Raji Bryson Barrett in the combat zone, lost to Leo Valdivia, who's been on fire, trying to rebound here. Nice knee. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice combination nice coming. Taylor. Very strong nice coming. coming strong in coming. Bryson Barrett. That's what he needs to do. More of that. Let's see if we can see more of that out of Taylor. Oh, nice leg check from David Taylor there. And, uh, Bryson Barrett threw that leg kick. You don't see a lot of that, Petey. They need to do a lot more leg checking. Stop that damage. Exactly. To the exactly. Stop that damage and counter off those checks as well. Absolutely. Nice left hook there by Taylor moments ago, and he is just stalking again, picking his shots here. Again, remember, fellas, in the WCL, you got to be busier. You and right now, 
Bryson Barrett is the busy fighter. Yeah, Bryson Barrett's really he's scoring well to the head there. Yo, oh, there was Beautiful a nice body ground kick. body kick from Bryson Beautiful Barrett. Body. Look at that, the kick's busy, look at that, he's getting it off. He does and it well, he uses the hands, follows it up with that right knee to the body. And a kick. Taylor trying to get a little busy there, but missing a lot on that, that little combo he threw. Under a minute to go now, 45 seconds left. Who is gonna pick up the pace? I think David Taylor's gonna go for a knockout here, Pete. And, and guess what, now. since this fight started, he's been looking for that knockout. He needs to be busier, Rich. No doubt he could get the knockout if he was a little busier, pressing it, causing this man to engage with them more. Is Dale Cook on the side just urging uh, David Taylor? On? Sorry, Bryson's just a little too busy right now. And time is ticking away from Taylor if he wants that knockout. Now that's the kind of work he should have been doing earlier. He would have gotten that knockout. 15 seconds okay. left. Bryson Barrett can keep that work ethic up and he will be do real right walk away. Yet. Yes, but he will walk away this fight. Oh, nearly ate a right hand. His tail was in that power. Close. You're almost home, son. There you go. So there's the horn and the third <laughs> oh, fight comes oh, to a close. Man. And a strong performance by Raji Bryson and of Barrett. Of course, Raji Bryson Barrett. Very good fight, guys. I would say that uh, Taylor took a little too uh, too long to get going on. Let's take a look at those. Times. All right, guys, take us through some of the action here. There's a nice jab. Uh, Bryson Barrett starting off with that left hand jab, trying to keep Taylor back. Taylor with his right leg kick, uh, Petey, but not following up. Not following up. And whenever they get close. Barrett would just go to town on, look at that. The knees, the kicks, the punches, in bunches. And he's clean. Dale Cook in the background there, just urging his hometown boy on. Yeah, Taylor trying to work the body of Bryson Barrett, but Great again, body I work. don't think it was quite enough. But exactly. We'll see what the judges think. Great body work, a little too late. And we are now awaiting the score of this fight. And here it is, 12 13 to 12 Taylor. victory by the You're slimmest of margin. Points. A win Raji, by Raji Bryson, Bryson Barrett in his second WCL fight. Total team scores and the to Oklahoma Destroyers are up by five. I just try to keep the pressure on him. You know, my coach just told me, you know, he likes to kind of sit back and wait. I knew he was a strong guy. He was a little smaller than me, so I tried to use, uh, you know, my reach and my advantage. I was upset about our loss to... You know, New York, I lost to Leo last fight. He's a great fighter, tough kid. And I uh, just wanted to come out, you know, a lot, a lot better, a lot stronger. You know, I knew what to expect, and uh, I felt I did pretty well, you know. Um, nothing more to ask than, than a W. So Raji Bryson Barrett picks up the narrow win and brings the Tigers within five. But coming up next, what a treat. Two of the most dominant women in the World Combat League go at it for the very first time as the battle for third place continues. Sites picks up the five point win, bringing her team, the Destroyers, up by 10. Coming up next, Derek Riddick of the Tigers takes on the assassin, Anthony Joe That fight coming up next as the battle for third place in the World Combat League continues. We are back at the Expo Square Pavilion in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where the Oklahoma Destroyers, the hometown team, pulling away a bit. They've got a 10-point lead in this battle for third place, but still very much in reach. A knockout for the Tigers could change things in a hurry. Derek Riddick looks to do that, but he's got his hands full as Anthony Joquani looking to avenge a loss to Jason Borelli in the conference finals. So the Tigers really need to get something going. They turn to Derek Riddick. Not going to be an easy chore because he takes on the assassin, Anthony Joquani. And this man, Joquani, only has two WCL losses and again, both to Jason Borelli. Yeah, seems exactly. to be a trend here, Richard. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Know. Yeah, what are we noticing here? I'll tell you what, Jaquani, um, to me, seems to have a walkaway fight in his hand. Um, I got to see Derek. Uh, Riddick's got to bring something to the table tonight for me. Yeah, on paper, at least, this fight would seem to favor the Destroyers. See what happens. That's why they get in there and go at it. 
Both fighters a little tentative to begin. Neither wanting to really commit. The yeah, they get, they both these men expect each other a bit here. Oh, there you go. Big right hand from Jaquani. He's got some power in those kicks though, Riddick, Petey. Yes, I mean, he, he put some juice behind those. Yes, he does, and I think uh, right off the bat, Jaquani respects that power. Yeah, look at that left front kick. Mrs. Mark, but you can see there's some real power. He's got some intent there. And again, listen, if you're going to throw a kick, even if the opponent blocks it, make him pay. Make him pay for it. And this kid, he has some power. And Derek Riddick, with uh, only one previous WCL fight, a loss, he's got nothing to lose. Nothing he's to looking lose. for his first win, and it would be a huge one over Jaquani. So. I'll tell you what, and he's making a good show of it, guys. He's making a real good show of it. Of course, he's got to be careful not to get knocked out and lose 15 points. Yeah, but, uh, you know, again, I think, I think Riddick's already got Jaquani's uh, respect. Yes, he does. Yes, he does, because Jaquani's been a very, uh, a very careful fight, if you ask me. For kid, as much time as this kid has, he should be in there mixing it up even more. Can he even match those so far, Petey? I mean, these guys are just trading pretty, pretty much, equally. Yeah. Jaquani looking for those big bombs, that right hand, but... He's Not hitting the mark. the mark. Yeah, missing the mark every time. And uh, Riddick's got some good head movement there. Look at Dale Cook. Look at Dale Cook urging his fighter on, urging Jaquani on for the Oklahoma Destroyers. I think I do. I think Dale should be doing something right now. A lot of fire. There you go. And as you say that, Jaquani comes alive, lands a couple of real good punches. There he goes again. He's and finally it, finding the mark with that right hand. And again, guys, a 10-point lead doesn't amount to much in the WWE. Oh, beautiful, beautiful round kick to the body. That. Beautiful round right kick to the body. Drops his man. That. I'd be surprised if he gets up after this one, Richie. That I'd be surprised. Suck the air out of him that time. That was so hard. And yet it was Riddick in the beginning that was having respect with his left leg. And he got the same back from Jaquan. Same back to the body. Oh, Jaquan just fired the same shot. 30 seconds left in this match. He's got to try and weather the storm. Does Riddick. The Tigers cannot afford for him to get knocked out here. Oh, but it doesn't seem to have slowed him down at all. Riddick still well in the match there. Dale Cook just screaming at his fighters to hang in there. I was going to... Riddick, who... Second time down there. Really still hurt, guys. Yeah, you know what I'm he's still hurt. He's on his feet, he's fighting, making a fight of it. That's a warrior. A lot of hot dogs. But, but this kid is hurt. Very good. Prepared to fight guys on his feet. Dale. Made a good uh, representation of himself. Dale Cook's very happy with you. He's fighting Jaquani in that one, and every reason to feel that way. Yeah, and great heart shown by Riddick. No shame there. Held on and survived. Now, a beautiful match by Riddick. Take a look at some of the highlights. One of the marquee fighters in the WCL, Jaquani, in action. He stood off a little slow, if you ask me. I think Riddick really had him going. You know, Kimmy yeah. attacked him, and he couldn't find him off that right hand all night. So finally, he had a beautiful body kick that set everything up. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. Riddick was really taking to Jaquani, at least getting his respect in the early part ah, of that match. But that, yeah. that kick to the body, that round kick to the body, just put Riddick down. And that's really yeah. what all Jaquani needed to really get a you know, a really big, uh, big decision here. And as we know, Peter, you don't have five rounds to recover. It's about this one, three minutes. And there's the final result of 15 to six victory by Jokwani, but at least Riddick survived and did not give up the knockout. You know what, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to give the team a big lead, but that's not the lead that I wanted. So the second half, I'm giving them lead that I do that I want to give him. Let me give him a knockout in the second half. So right now it's you now it's kind of sloppy, I was kind of rusty, but I'm gonna come back and give him a good one. So the assassin claims another victory. The destroyers are up 70 to 51. But coming up next, the dream fight between Uriah Hall and the body rocker Jesse Lawrence. In the immortal words of Clubber Lang, prediction the Oklahoma Destroyers enjoying a 19-point lead over the New Jersey Tigers in the battle for third place. But Uriah Hall looks to close that gap in a big way, and he's capable. Ever since he debuted in the World Combat League, they have likened him to his opponent, Jesse Lawrence. And the collision course between these two heavy hitters comes to a head in this highly anticipated match.
Uriah Hall, his rookie season has been nothing short of extraordinary. Seven wins and no losses. Guys, this fight just might blow the roof off of the Expo Pavilion. <laughs> this is the one we talked about earlier, fellas. This, this is, is your fight, Petey. Jesse Lawrence, Uriah Hall. Like I said, the two bad boys in this sport of this competition here. Uh, these championships and uh, tonight, guys, this is a fight in my book. <laughs> Superman entrance there from Jesse Lawrence. Now, it is not the 4th of July, but there are fixing to be some big time fireworks going on in this one. Yeah, fireworks indeed, guys. Here we go. <laughs> this is already good. Oh, hey, thank you. Just put that front kick in your stomach. <laughs> what a way to close out the first half of this battle. As these two teams battle for third place in the World Combat League. Right, fighters trading good leather here. Jesse Lawrence looking very strong now, Pete, in the beginning of this match. Yes. And Uriah Hall again seems to be the more cautious of the two, and he's looking for that big punch to land that big punch to turn things around mentally. Guys, I gotta think this is more of a feeling out process than we would have expected. Do they just respect each other's power so much? Well, absolutely. When you know you're capable of knocking each other out, you know, you gotta be very careful. But remember, the whole idea of the WCL is to stay busy. If you hang back and wait for that knockout punch, that's and you right, don't baby. Get the points, the points just the keep flying by. The fight is gonna get the point spread. And I think definitely that, that there you go, that Lawrence has got that, that down in his mind. Still a little busy, a little busier. Then a man who can punch as hard as me, kick as hard as me, as well as me. I'm going to a little busier on him. Yeah, Uriah Hall getting busy now. He's, he's going high, he's going low. He's going well with the leg kicks and the head kicks. Right. Still, though, uh, Jesse, Jesse Lawrence is the one taking the fight to Uriah. So I'm giving him aggressive points. Oh, but look at that. Right Beautiful round height. kick there from Uriah Hall. Beautiful shot. Once again, uh, they're the picture book shot to get the judge's attention to no matter what, you know? Yes, yeah, and I think he got the opponent's attention tonight also. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Ah, beautiful low kick. Yeah, Lawrence, nice low, low, low kick there to the leg of Uriah. No! An axe kick, kick, kick. then. Oh, a beautiful flying jump. knee from Jesse Lawrence. Oh, oh flying double front kick. It seems to be Richie. The body rock oh, take oh, to the next one here. Yes. Richie, he's teaming the Oh, beautiful low kick again. He goes low, he goes high, he goes with his hands. Jesse Lawrence very strong with that low leg kick. Moving, moving well also to evade punches. Less than a minute to go. You get the feeling that this fight is a time bomb that could explode at any second, but these guys got to get going here. And speaking uh, you of bombs, guys, that's all we've seen is flying gonna both the, these guys. Going to be the one who stays busy in now in the final seconds of this match. <laughs> Judges are screaming their encouragement in the background here. Fellas, if you ask me, I think Uriah needs to do something. So far, so far, it's, Jesse's, it's been Jesse's fight. Uriah Hall still trying to land those big bombs of his. He's still missing the mark, though, a little bit. Jesse's he's got a nice round, round kick, though. Very strong. Oh. Attempted spinning heel kick there. <laughs> oh, oh, That oh. is Uriah Hall. Signature move. Look at that. this gets in trouble. Right on the bell. Spinning back heel kick, lands it, and gives himself a breather. Wow, what a Right way. back into the fight. What a way to end that fight with some style points. Unbelievable. Big the knockdown with the spinning heel kick. Guess what, gentlemen? Believe it or not, Uriah Hall could have come back and win this, uh, this match here this evening. Let's take a look at some of the action of this battle of two of the best light heavyweights in the league. Nice spin spinning back kick. Yeah, spinning back kick there from Jesse Lawrence. Oh, look at that right beautiful round, round kick there from Uriah Hall. Very nice. Ah, beautiful action by Jesse. Ah, you you're go. right, Richie. Jumping yeah. knee. Jumping knee. Jumping Just slightly face. misses Mark, thank goodness. Very strong, both fighters, very strong punches. And I think this is why it was very tentative. As I said, both fighters came from the beginning of that knock out right, punches. Knocking each other out. Oh, ah, beautiful kick. Good shot out of the bow. There it is. And 
after on the heels of that spinning heel kick. Here's Whoa. the judge's decision. Uriah Hall with a five-point victory Hall. and Yo, a little Hall. acrobatics to celebrate. Yo, right. no. Guys, oh, what did I tell you? Destroyed. After all that fighting, after all the great work of Jesse Lawrence, again, that one knot now can change the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Second half of the right, second eight round right there. Uriah Hall's efforts helped the Tigers close the gap just a bit. It's the Destroyers up 80 to 66 as we head to the locker room for halftime. I didn't find my fight. I'm pissed. Yeah. I got to get back out there. I have to. I didn't do what I was supposed to, and I'm going to do this one. I just know that I didn't fight right, and if I get the chance to get back in, it's a wrap. Uriah Hall's five-point win brings the New Jersey Tigers within 14, gives them some momentum heading into the second half. But before we get to that, let's relive the action from the first half. Shannon Maceo ultra aggressive and hands a very rare loss to Thomas Thunderkick Longacre, who showed some great heart in his own right by hanging in there and avoiding the knockout. This was a real war of attrition and it put the Tigers up to an early lead. And then the big heavyweights went at it and traded bombs. But veteran fighter Patrick Smith able to stay busier and taking one of the nine lives from the Panther. Raji Bryson Barrett stayed active and eked out a one point win over the knockout artist and brought the Tigers within five. And at that point, there were three fights left in the first half. And it was time to see what the ladies could do in anticipated matchup. Jerry Seitz taken to the air, picking up some frequent flyer miles. And these two went at it much as expected, toe to toe. But in the end, Jerry Seitz picks up the five point victory and gives the Destroyers a 10 point lead. And then from there, Derek Riddick took on Anthony Joquani, who again was back for revenge from his loss to Jason Borelli in the conference championship. And he was a technical striker, as always, using that Muay Thai playbook. There you see him downing his opponent. Joquani picks up the win, bringing the lead of the Destroyers to 19. But then Uriah Hall, who looked like he was in the backseat of this battle from the beginning. There you see how active and dominant the body rocker was. But Uriah Hall digging down deep, finding that little something extra, and in the end, it was two kicks that made the difference. You see that kick to the head, the spinning heel kick, and Uriah Hall picking up a five-point win in that highly anticipated matchup and has a little extra energy. So at the end of the first half, it is Oklahoma up 80 to 66. Make sure you join us next time for the rousing conclusion to this battle for third place. I can tell you this, business is going to pick up. So for everyone at the WCL, for my broadcast partners, Richard Norton and Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham, I'm Todd Kennelly, and we'll see you next time in the Combat Zone. CL. It's the battle for third place between Oklahoma and New Jersey. In the conference finals, Oklahoma blew a 32-point lead over the LA Stars. They have more than just pride to fight for tonight. New Jersey was schooled in a losing effort by big city neighbors, the New York Clash. They are done with the losing. Now, it's all about getting even. Welcome everyone inside the Expo Square Pavilion in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We've got a jam-packed crowd on hand and the hometown crowd liking what they're seeing so far as the Oklahoma Destroyers up by 14. Here's how we got there. Shannon Maceo, holy upset Batman, gets a rare victory over Thomas Thunderkick Longacre in an absolute war, but credit Longacre for hanging in there and avoiding the knockout. And then from there, two big heavyweights went at it veteran of the WCL, John James, taking on overall fight veteran Patrick Smith. And the two tried to trade bombs, but in the end, Smith picks up the win. From there, Raji Bryson Barrett stayed busier of the two fighters and ekes out a one-point win over his opponent, David Taylor, to bring the Tigers within five. And then, oh yes, it's ladies' night. Oh, what a night. 
Two of the most dominant females in the WCL go at it toe to toe, and it did not disappoint. There you see the spinning back fist, and Jerry, fists of fury sights, gets a five point win over Muna Holland. And then the assassin, Anthony Joe Kwani, adds to his body count, picking apart his opponent, Derek Riddick, with solid technique and extending the Destroyer's lead to 19 with one fight to go in the first half. So Jaquani bouncing back from that loss to Borelli in the conference finals, picks up the win here. And then from there, there was one fight to go in the first half and what a fight it was. Early on, it was all body rocker. There you see the ax kick. It comes with the flying knee, devastating. But Uriah Hall battles back, digs down deep. Find something deep inside, and two kicks made the difference. That head kick there, and that spinning heel kick that downs the body Raka. Uriah Hall picks up a five-point win in that fight, giving the Tigers some much-needed momentum heading into the second half. And there you see it, Oklahoma up 80 to 66. Let's go over the rules for action. Six fighters per team, each competes in a three-minute round in the first and second half. All punching and kicking skills are allowed, knees only above the waist, and there you see the penalties. They can be costly. Three judges score based on the five-point must system. Knockouts are huge, and we might see some tonight, and fighters' points are added to the overall team score. And when we come back, we kick off the second half as David Gonzalez steps off the bench for the Tigers, taking on Thomas Thunderkid Longacre, who tries to avenge his first half loss. It's 80 to 66 Oklahoma as the battle for third place continues. Welcome back to the Expo Square Pavilion in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where hometown destroyers are in the driver's seat in this battle for third place in the WCL. We're gonna kick off the second half with David Gonzalez. He's an alternate, he's got fresh legs and fresh fists. He takes on Thomas Longacre, who's out for revenge after his first half loss. But how much did that war with Maceo take out of Thunderkick? Then welcome to the combat zone, fighting for the New Jersey Tigers, David Gonzalez! Thank you. The Oklahoma Destroyers up by Longacre. 14. And the Tigers send in alternate David Gonzalez. Apparently, Shendon Maceo not able to go after that war with Thunderkick Longacre in the first half. Well, this is going to, it is quite a task for Gonzalez. Anyone fighting in Longacre has got opponent. his hands full. But uh, you know, even Longacre in that first match, if he hadn't got that knockdown, Peter, if he hadn't got dropped to his knee, okay, I would think it would be a very and different he, result. That's, and he just had a tough fight. He just had a tough round, so he's going to come back in here and find a kid who's fresh. Yeah, that's that, going to make a difference. That that's going to make be, a difference. That could be the X factor, Peter, is yes. how much is left in the tank of Longacre exactly. after that tough first fight. But I guess this hometown crowd could fire anybody up, especially Thunderkick. And you know you what? If it. anyone's got heart, it's Longacre. I mean, I've never, ever seen him not come in with 100% full throttle action. He is extremely popular here in Oklahoma. They love him. There you see the signs. These Oklahoma fans love him, and he never disappoints them. I tell you what, everybody loves this kid. I love him. <laughs> All right, he's amazing. Oh! Oh, <laughs> that exchange. Once again, a little slow off the mark, Petey. <laughs> now, he's a good puncher, and he knows that he's looking for his knockout. Look at that left round kick to the head by Longacre. Well, it looks like Gonzalez going to let... Start off where Maceo left off and just stand and throw with Longacre. Oh, look at that right round kick to the head. He caught Longacre. Yeah, no, Longacre came back and got him with a good right hand. Yeah, That's absolutely, but that yeah. was a shot. This Gonzalez is a good fighter. Longacre look at his shot to left, oh, right. Oh, There's oh, another right beautiful. round kick. Yeah. Go this fight, fight is over. This fight is over. Three. Just what I talk Four. about, that right round kick of Five. Gonzalez. Six. That's twice. He caught him once, and this Seven. time he put Longacre Eight. down for the count. Nine. I think that's going to be it. This fight's over. That's no, it. No, no, it's no, 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 no. over. This fight's over, baby. Wait, no, the referee called for a timeout. I believe they're going to check on the cut. I don't believe this fight has been called yet, gentlemen. Yeah, but I would. I'd tell you what, look at him. He's walking. He's still shaky. His legs are still rubbery. Um, I'd call the fight right here. Yeah, long acre, he's, he's not ready. I mean, he might get a little win back now, but his hey, legs were hey, gone. There's no the question, corner, Pete. He's Thank not you. about a cut. Yeah, exactly. His legs were gone from under him. Exactly. It's not about a cut here. Gonna he be down. It's going to be interesting to see if the doctor will let him continue. You know, long acre not one to give up. Oh, oh definitely. No doubt. But you know what? You can be Superman. You get popped in the right spot right in the jaw like that. It's very hard to come back. Look at Longacre. He's got his win back. This is this is an interesting. Whoa. Let's see. This could be an incredible upset yes. as a result. Oh, no. He's still shaky, though, Petey. Longacre's really feeling that. I'm hot, baby. He's playing totally on hot right now. There's that. Stop, stop, break. Get up, get up. 
Look at the coach there. Look at Dale Cook just yelling at his fighter, just pleading with him to hang in there. Gonzalez, very strong though. And Gonzalez's confidence is to the roof right now. You understand? I mean, it, it, oh, that was a left knee then from Gonzalez, hit the mark on Longacre. I, I'd be, if I was long, I'd be watching out for that left leg again of Gonzalez. That's what he'd be looking for. It's worked twice. So oh, there's a big straight right hand. And guys, Longacre right on the chin. Guys, if Gonzalez finishes with a knockout, it would give them a one point lead. They're down by 14. What a switch of momentum that would be. There you go. There's that right ground kick again from Gonzalez. The hard and loaded Longacre, you know, deserves. Look at this guy. Oh, look at that kid. Look at that. Look at Longacre. Just hats off to him. This is a heart of a warrior right here. One of the guys you one of the guys you hate to play. Oh, right. there's that right ground kick again from Gonzalez. We're gonna what take a... another look at that cut. Oh man, Longacre really bleed. That's a bad cut about the eye of Longacre. I'll tell you what, guys, again, the cut is the least of it. The kid's rubber in his feet. He's out on his feet, but heart alone. This kid's fighting on heart alone. His heart pumps the blood of a warrior, and we're seeing a lot of it. His face a crimson mask. And still over here being with the doctor to let him continue. Kid's a warrior. If they let him continue, he's still got a minute to work with. Could you imagine if somehow Longacre pulls this thing off? You know what? If anybody can, Longacre yeah. can. And every second he gets with the doctor there is to his advantage. Ah, you know, beautiful. just to sort of clear his head a little bit, refocus, and get into the job at hand. Exactly. Gonzalez, of course, has got to capitalize on, on the momentum he's already built at this stage of the match. One minute left, as you said, Todd. One minute to decide this match. And the crowd could become a factor here in Tulsa. Here we go. Once, oh, look at that right round kick from Gonzalez under the leg of Longacre. Again, watch for that right head kick from Gonzalez. Look at Longacre, though, trying to close this match out. He knows he needs a knockout to take this match away from Gonzalez. And he needs, nice. and he needs to avoid one to keep the lead from switching to the Tigers. Left knee then from Longacre, a left round kick high. Gonzalez covering up, there's Gonzalez going back with his own shots. <coughs> what a match, a crowd are on their feet here in Oklahoma. Just both fighters just trading punch for punch. And both these kicks left for heart. Oh, so Longacre's heart, but uh, see Longacre's head. You haven't seen Gonzalez a couple of shots and he's still going. Look at that. What a fight, can Longacre survive? Beautiful kick to the head. Oh, he's still attacking. Dallas looking a little wobbly. Oh, what a phenomenal match. That was just phenomenal. Gentlemen, no doubt in my mind who wins this fight. Gonzalez, yeah. totally. At the same time, on heart, who won this fight? Longacre. Let's take a look at the action, and boy, was there tons of it. What a show of a gutty display by Longacre. By the look at this, that right round kick from Gonzalez. Did a lot of damage. The right hand from Longacre there in reply. Yeah, we got we got better everything in this fight, guys. We got courage, we There's got heart, that. we got the skill, you name it. Yeah, and, and the fact that this kid's sitting on his feet, he did not want to give it up at all. Give up his team's feet. And uh, German, how do you how do you see this? Uh, again, Gonzalez has got to take it. Gonzalez has got to take it. I believe it's a decisive victory for Gonzalez, yes. But by surviving the knockout, Longacre is going to prevent from the lead switching. Beautiful, beautiful call. Look at this kid Longacre. fighter. I love that kid. He, he's just got incredible heart. But hats off to Gonzalez. I mean, to take it to a fighter like Longacre, I mean, kudos to him. You got it. And here it is, we go into the combat yeah, zone. The final score, score 15 to seven. 15 Gonzalez pulls off the biggest David win of his Gonzalez. young WCL career. Bringing those total team scores. And the team score, 87-81. The Oklahoma Destroyers only up by six. The Tigers closing in. Well, we went in the back, we regrouped. Came back out, sent me out. I said, I gotta do what I gotta do. I see that he likes the kick, they call him Thunder Kick. And I'm a boxer. I went out there and I boxed them. That's what I do. You know, I landed a good kick. I felt it. I just threw it, and I caught him with it. I was, I was surprised. I, 
Worked that kick a lot in the gym and it came off nice. <laughs> I was hoping to get the knockout with it. Incredible, Thomas Longacre suffers two losses in his hometown. If I were a betting man, I would have lost money on that. And David Gonzalez with that win brings the New Jersey Tigers within six points in this battle for third place. Gerald Miller takes on Alex Beck in a heavyweight battle. Welcome back to the Expo Square Pavilion in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where the Oklahoma Destroyers up by six as New Jersey starts to close the gap in this battle for third place. And now it's time for the big boys to go at it. Jero Miller, King Kong, fresh off his impressive win over Patrick Berry, looks to climb the Empire State Building, ascend to the top of the heavyweight division. Alex Beck looking to rebound from a loss to Chris Hawk. And here comes King Kong, Gerald Miller, the 19-year-old, could really be the future of the heavyweight division. Guys, he says he's the fat kid with a Kool-Aid smile that brings the pain. And he did that in his debut against Patrick Perry, getting the upset victory. He is Alex But here comes Alex Beck, another talented heavyweight. He's got a four and four record in the WCL. He's got devastating leg kicks and he's gonna try and chop, chop down the powerful youngster. Now what he needs to have is a devastating chin going up against the youngster. King Kong will take it to him. Well, and speaking of chins, guys, after seven fights, there have been no knockouts and we have seen some of the most devastating shots in, in the history of the WCL tonight. Which says, man, which says everything about the heart of these fighters. You know, for third place, they're putting everything on the line. There is so much pride at stake. Look at Gerald Miller go to town. This guy is like a wrecking machine. Oh, right round kick there. To... Like I said tonight, the Lemonjack's got to bring his Watch chin, gentlemen. He's oh. got to bring his chin. Alex Beck this... is already under Beck, a lot of Beck, trouble Beck, here. He, there you go. He brings it. The Lemonjack's got to bring some chin tonight, baby. Look at the focus of Miller. I mean, he is just a one-man <laughs> wrecking machine. He can't, he can't do one thing tonight, gentlemen, that's do damage. You know what? It's going to be still a question. Now, it's all very well. Two minutes and 24 seconds left. Look at that. Look at oh, that. Look at that. Look at that. He might see us. He might see us. Right out here, gentlemen. It could be over right here. It could be over right here. Beck is in a lot of trouble right here. Gerald Miller is just putting that pressure on. Now, this kid left is a finisher. Right. Uppercuts, leg kicks. He is going to town on Alex Beck from the Oklahoma Destroyers. An absolute onslaught by Miller. Just trying to cover up his back, but he's got to start fighting back. I tell you what, I said that Big's got to bring a chin tonight. I think he brought that with him in the kitchen sink, because he's not going anywhere. Look, Look at his shot. Look at that right hand. Look, and another shot. right hand from Miller. Whoa. Oh, oh, it had oh, to be. See you later. Thanks for coming. Alex <laughs> Beck said, I'll just sit outside for this one. Oh. oh. Did the hand say to the face? Slap! <laughs> and they're right back at it, gentlemen. I don't know how Alex Beck is standing up at this Alex time. Beck, he's got chin. I think oh, that's both these two guys. This guy brought his chin, like I said. Look at this. Gerald Miller has not paused for one second. Get your camera, go. buddy. He's going down. Junk and Mr. Sky for trying. This is going to be a very good win for the New Jersey Tigers. Only down by six, a big win by Miller. Could turn the tide and change the lead. Wow! And I think we're going to see that happen here. So, Tony, guys, without a question. Watch your Watch your Beck is, Beck. Beck, yeah, Beck is too much on the defense, too much on the retreat to do any damage. But, uh, but again, as we always say, look at that, look at that. soft effect for even standing up to that sort of an onslaught. Shows again the heart of these contestants. Like we said, guys, tonight, Tonight, it's about heart. Oh, there's no but Heart and pride. Yes, sir. Doesn't look like there's much in the tank. There's a penalty point for stalling. This is going to be a big point spread for the New Jersey Tigers on this match. Unless Alex Beck can some pull out, grab it out of the hat here, which I just don't see. Miller has not stopped, Petey. Miller, Miller's in better shape than him. You that his body uh, defects here because this kid, look at that. Oh, look, look at that. And it's about, whoa. And, yeah. Yeah, and a tons of heart by Beck by staying on his feet. No but guys, he had virtually no offense in that offense. Look at this guy. He took a beating from, 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 from the bell to bell. 
and still finish this fight on his feet. Again, guys, nothing but hard here. Yeah, but I see Miller just never, he never gave him a chance to reset. Let's take a look at Gerald Miller in action. Never let up from the opening horn. Constant pressure. Leg kicks, look at that. Working those hands, he just kept unrelenting pressure on exactly. Alex Banks. And gentlemen, that says something about the, the kind of shape this kid's it's in. Absolutely, conditioning. This is what the layman doesn't understand. What It's like a three minute sprint in there for Gerald Mill to keep that pressure on. He is in shape. He is in shape, regardless of what his body, you know what I'm saying? Maybe showing us this kid is in Look at that right shape. hand, look at that right hand. Follow with another right hand, and Alex Beck decided to sit it out for a moment. Whoa. There's another right <laughs> Look, re of that button. right hand. Thanks for playing. We have some lovely parting gifts in the back. <laughs> Yeah, this, this has got to result in a big point spread win for the New Jersey Tigers. Oh, yeah. Totally one-sided. <laughs> totally one-sided, guys, all the way. <laughs> it's a spinning back just from Beck. And that was pure desperation at that point. Three points to Beck, 16 points to your winner. Wow. Just as I thought, Miller. gentlemen. Guys, what a point yeah. spread. Yeah, gonna <laughs> and the New Jersey <laughs> Tigers oh, lead frog, <laughs> and they take the lead. They are up by seven. <laughs> and the Destroyers now find themselves having to battle from behind. Um, I knew our team needed the points. It was about do or die. I went out there and just keep doing punches. Three minutes of war, that's all it was. He couldn't, he couldn't take it after the first 15 seconds, you know? So I dropped him three nine, I got the scores. 16, I think 17, three, something like that. That's all you gotta do it all day. What an impressive win by Gerald Miller. And now Lyman Good looks to keep the good times rolling for the Tigers. He takes on Chidi Joquani, who tries to make winning a family tradition. We saw his brother Anthony earlier. The New Jersey Tigers up by seven as the battle for third place continues. Thanks to a dominant victory by Gerald King Kong Miller, New Jersey isn't holding on to a damsel in distress, but they are holding on to a seven point lead over hometown favorites, the Oklahoma Destroyers. And it's time for more action here in the second half as Lyman Good takes on Chidi Joquani. And Lyman indeed looked very good in his last fight against Jason Quick. Joquani had the unenviable task of debuting against Raymond Daniels. What a great battle this has been from the first fight till now. And it only Welcome continues. To the combat zone. Again, Fight gentlemen, the new still Jersey no clear knockouts Lyman. thus far. The, the night of hearts, guys. Championship of hearts this evening. Lyman Good, he's a fixture in ring of combat, an MMA fighter. Once again to the combat In zone, New, Jersey. New Jersey. And also an impressive 2-0, undefeated in the WCL. This guy's so powerful, so explosive. Have you seen the shape this guy's in, Petey? Look at this lineman good. This is her career, so guys. guys. <laughs> 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 this is Apollo in the ring this evening. And here you see Chidi Joquani, the brother of Anthony, trying to make winning a family tradition here tonight for the Destroyers. And he's got his hands full this evening, guys, and he's going to keep up that family tradition. Three he's got a fight tonight. Three inch height advantage for Jaquani at six foot three. It's Lyman Good at six foot. You'll remember that Chidi Jaquani was brought in specifically to fight Raymond Daniels of the Los Angeles Stars, but now needs to score on, some boys, points here fight. to try and bring his team back. Inside leg kick there from Jaquani, scoring the leg of Lyman Good. Oh, big left hand. What a blitz. Turn around, turn around. And, uh, that is, <laughs> this guy, Lama Good, is the king of blitz. You wait, 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 and then take off at you. Oh, oh, that was also a powerful shot there from, from Jaquani. Clinching up. Oh, did we talk up, did we mention Hart earlier on in Pride? Woohoo! Jaquani's not one bit intimidated at all. No, I'm liking this. Forward. I'm liking this very much. Okay, and both fighters now back to square one a little bit. Referee trying to encourage the fighters to get busy, get to work. And thus far, guys, that's a pretty even fight. That's a pretty even fight. They're holding on a lot. Watch that clinch. Let me let him pitch a little bit. And remember, you can clinch in the WCL, but you've got to clinch knee and let go. You cannot hang on. Are you surprised that there was not a penalty on, point assessed? I, I, I actually was there, yeah. I mean, Jaquani hung on for quite a few, you know, beats quite there. A bit, yes. You know what, though? I, I, think, I think the referee, though, guys, the referee's letting these guys work it out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Championship night, and he's letting them go a little bit. Turn around. 
fight. That was ruled a slip there as Jaquani hit the mat. Lyman good. Oh boy, he hits Lyman good. Got some. Bring it out. A little bit of discretion being used by the referee here. Exactly, guys. Let these guys work a little bit. It's a big night. There you go. Now he finally got it there. Finally got it. Hold, Todd. Yeah. Let it go for a while, but called him on at that time. Rules of the rules. Got to enforce him. Watch the red zone. Get up. Get up. Turn. Stop. Turn. Nice control there from Lyman Good. You know, he's going to get a slap in the back of the head, but he resisted. And again there, you see Jaquani again drops to a knee, and that is another stalling point. So these penalty points are going to hurt him if he doesn't really get busy. Up. Yep. The Jersey Tigers want to hang on to this lead. They, they do not want to be losing uh, 10 points at this stage. This fight starting to turn ugly and sloppy. Oh! Jaquani ate some shots up there in the red zone. He, he still hung on a little bit too long for my good Lyman Good, so I'm just going to get busy on you. Great crowd on hand here at the Expo Square Pavilion in Tulsa, Oklahoma, as these teams battle for third place in the World Combat League. What, just on 15 seconds left in this match. Do it, just want to get back and get in this fight, guys. He's had too many points taken away for stalling. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Too many points taken for stalling. Right now, Lemon's bringing it on him. So at this point, it looks like the Tigers are going to extend that lead. That they took in our previous fight. Lyman Good doing his part. But we'll have to see how the judges scored. What are your thoughts on how the scoring's going to go here, Richard, as yeah. we take a look at some of the action? You, know, you know, they were they were quite evenly matched. I mean, both guys were just loading everything. Look at this playback here. I mean, Lyman Good, when he charges, man, he's like a freight train. Yeah. It's not so much scoring, though. I mean, a lot of the force of that. But look at Chidi Duquani come back with the same blitz on Lyman Good. It's going to be a hard one to judge for me. I tell you what, it, it, at the outset, Rich, it started off that way to me. But later on, uh, Lyman Good just had too much momentum. Yeah, and, and scoring well. Look, he's very exactly. good. Shots to the head there. Yeah. Yeah, I think the uh, New Jersey Tigers think you're going to have another win here. Yes. That would be my call. And here are the results. There you see the penalty points come into play, resulting in an 18 to 9 victory by Good. Nine more points there tacked onto the lead. And the score is the New Jersey Tigers, 115. Oklahoma Destroyers, 99. But it is certainly not over. I knew if I was going to go against someone about his height and you know knowing where he comes from and what type of fighting style he's from, I knew I had to try to cut distance against him. He's a very lean, very long, lanky type of fighter. So, you know, just from my experience, I know I had to cut distance, just come in, you know, give him a lot of pressure because what he wants is the opposite. He wants to keep distance, use his length, use his kicks. So, he gives it the opposite, just kept pressuring him. Jerry Sight's a big difference maker for the Destroyers. That knockout win, a huge momentum changer, bringing this battle for third place within one point. Anthony, the assassin Joe Kwani, takes on alternate Thad Campbell for the Tigers in a critical fight next. Only two fights remain, and only one point separates the Oklahoma Destroyers and the New Jersey Tigers in this battle for third place. And coming up, Anthony Joquani, who was victorious in the first half. He takes on Thad Campbell, coming off a knockout loss in the Eastern Conference Finals. Can Campbell battle the speed and range of Joquani? Whoever takes this fight will control the momentum going into our final matchup. Matt Campbell coming off the bench for the Tigers. This guy is tough, and boy, he's going to have to be because he takes on Anthony Jaquani. His opponent fights for your Oklahoma Destroyers. Welcome back, Anthony Jaquani. And guys, this is exactly who the Oklahoma Destroyers need to try and take the lead back over. No doubt about it. Anthony Jaquani could really bring this home for the Oklahoma Destroyers. They are good with his Look at him. He's on the side there. He is just. And again, we're talking about pride. We're talking about everything here for the hometown team. Guys, and with one fight to go after this, that Campbell just needs to survive, needs to avoid the knockout. Watch out, watch out. Come on, let's get this fight, boys. This is Jaquani here looking for the knockout. Well, definitely watch looking for the knockout here. Got some nice legs on him, Petey, Jaquani. Nice leg, right leg. Nice Look hands. at that inside Look. leg kick. Good, there you go. Good boxing. Nice style. The only thing, he drops that left hand. He's got to watch out because that overhand right of Thad Campbell is exactly. a dangerous exactly. shot. 
Nice head movement though from Jaquani. Again, Stag Look Campbell on the attack. Good me. Oh, oh left knee yeah. and a right yeah. ground kick from Jaquani. Really scored in the body of Tag Campbell. Campbell trying to tie him up here. Referee's gonna have to keep an eye on that. Jaquani's totally going for a knockout here. But C Campbell staying elusive. Getting out of the way of some of those. Oh, shots. look at those shots. That left low kick there from uh, Jaquani really found his mark. And in the oh, conference oh, finals, oh. Campbell was knocked out by a body shot, watch so he's susceptible downstairs. And it feels soft in the middle, guys. Not stick on the fighter. It's a soft, there you go. But now he's totally intimidated by Jaquani. He's just picking his shots now. Look at that. As long as Jaquani can keep this pressure up for the full three minutes, there's a minute 45 left in this match. Picks his cards right, pick his shots. He could get his 15 points here, guys. The, the Dale Cook, it, this means everything to him. This is such a crucial match for Dale Cook and the Oklahoma Destroyers. Yes, this is very important because in our last fight, the Destroyers have the body rocket on deck. So you gotta go, you, you can't leave it up to chance with him because he can put you away. Jaquan has just gotta watch out. He doesn't cop a big one from Campbell. The moment he's just way ahead on that point spread. Look at that big right hand there from Jaquani. That Campbell just trying to survive, Petey. Yeah, now Campbell just oh, he's head. cut. He's got a cut. They're going to have to have a look at that. They're going to have to. It looks like in the back of his head, dude. That's exactly. I think he got the elbow in the back of the head there. Or, or yeah, head. The oh, the my. He, that is a gash there. That's going to be it. Ready? Hey, ready? Time in. Fight. Wow. Now, again, it's where it cuts that Richie, to the yeah. back of the head. So there's no. Um, no, no chance of blood coming over his eyes, which is really the, the, the big um, point about having a cut. Right, and with 44, 43 seconds to go, as you see the blood stream from the back of the head of Campbell, another show of great heart. Uh, Jaquani just hanging there. He's just doing what he needs to do. This blood is down his back. It's down the front. That Campbell is painted in his own blood. 25 seconds left in this match. Jaquani just not letting up in the pressure. Thad Campbell doing his best just to survive in there. It's going to be too little too late, though, Petey, I think, for Thad Campbell and the New Jersey Tigers. Exactly. Campbell looks like a victim in a horror movie, but he's nice. holding on. Exactly, guys, he's avoiding that knockout, which keeps his team alive for this final match. Absolutely, avoid that 15-0 point spread. That's the job. Dale Cook must be happy with these boy Jaquani in that match. Happy with the performance, but again, at the said, guys, Campbell hung in there and, did, and, and avoided the knockout. Thomas, Thunderkick, Longacre looking on. Seems to be in good spirits. Let's take a look at the highlights. An absolute bloodbath. Oh, look at that nice left knee. He just works the upper body then with that left knee from Jaquani to finish that job. See if we can see what cut Campbell open here at some point. At one point here, the heads came together. Look at that, up and down the body, PD. Just a quantity, just stayed busy the whole there time. There it is, there it is. There was the head, but the head skipped together, and that's across the gas to open up at and the back of uh, Campbell's head. Immediately, the blood starts flowing. Boy, the faucet was turned on. Yeah, and, and, and as you point out, PD, it often looks a lot worse than it is, especially it where is. that cut is. It is. The back and of the head. Mixed with the sweat and everything like that. That was a hell of an effort by Thad Campbell to hang in there. But. We're waiting for the judge's decision, and it's a very important one in that. And here it is. Anthony Jaquani with a 15 to 9 victory picks up a six point win over Thad Campbell. And the Oklahoma Destroyers are up by five points 129 to 124 with one fight to go as the battle for third place continues. Are you ready? And it's all gonna come down to a fight between alternate Carlos Brooks and Jesse Lawrence, the body rocker, who got a little taste of his own medicine in the first half, courtesy of Uriah Hall. Brooks versus Lawrence with the win on the line.